Fantastic. Hey, everybody. It's Dr. Maureen Hayes from Galveston, Texas, welcoming you to our Friday night, a CFI. You know, some of the regulars, Dr. Lee Osler from Washington State, um, Jim and Ann Glenn from San Antonio, Texas. Jim is our financial expert and Ann is our nutritional expert. Dr. Lee Osler is a dentist supreme up there. And we have a couple of special guests joining us today. We have uh, Dr. Richard Michaels from North Carolina and Dr. Avi Herskowitz from San Francisco. He's the director of Anatera Medicine there. Uh, Lee, may I ask you um, about epigenetics? Because I want people to understand, because again, I still say that a lot of people think, well, I'm doing fine. But can you please this new terminology, the epigenetics, and what that is doing to our genes inside of our body, and then by adding these molecules back into the body, does that do anything to our genes in our body? Uh, that's a great question. And uh, one of the comments earlier in the chat was about whether or not uh, this was important or not. And you're, you're really striking on what is important. Understanding of why this company did what it did and that this is so unique because of where it plays in the health marketplace and the, the broader marketplace. That's a story that needs to be told. People can watch the Genesis video at amazingmolecules.com and really get uh, a good background of why this is that, why this is going down the path business-wise that it is. In fact, I know for health professionals, that's, that's kind of an important um, uh, idea to understand. But the, the whole epigenetic thing, we, you know, we, we've had this thing since the, the genome thing came out that we are our DNA. And if you've got a, if you've got a gene for cancer, then you're, you're condemned. And if you've got a gene for that or whatever, and in some cases they're fixed and you, know, you, you, can't, you can't change your eye color and your skin color because those are pretty determined in the DNA. But everything else is about gene expression, whether you turn a gene on or turn a gene off. And so I like to think of uh, the DNA code as like a, a gun or a pistol and your finger is on the trigger, that's the environment. Whether you pull the trigger or not and express the bullet, as it were, is a function of what the environment is doing. And so epigenetics is a term that just means the overlay or, or the, the influence of your environment on the DNA. It's obviously way more complicated than a three minute answer. But the point of this goes back to NRF2. The reason why ASEA has such a great place in the world's marketplace, in the health marketplace, is because we're replenishing molecules that the mitochondria normally makes when it goes through its oxidative process of making energy. Avi talked about the exhaust earlier. You know, we manage the energy production, but we've also got exhaust. And for decades, we've taken antioxidant vitamins to, to donate electrons to put out the fire that's produced with these reactive oxygen molecules. We've done that for decades and, and it's, it's a good thing. They're all plant-based uh, when, when they're diet uh, supplied, but inside the body, the, the cell has a way to identify when the cell is not healthy, when there's oxidative imbalance. It's a teeter-totter between oxidation and reduction, the transfer of electrons. The way the cell talk or cell communication signals or communications is through the movement of electrons from one molecule to the next. And without getting you know, too deep into that rabbit hole, the point is, is the way that the cell knows how to respond to its environment is through this signaling. It has to turn on or turn off genes. And NRF2 is an antioxidant signaling transcription factor. It's what goes to the, to the DNA in the nucleus and sits on the chromosome of the genes in our DNA and tells it which proteins to produce as a result of what upstream problems there were. So if you're sick, if, you, if you've got infection, if you're, if you're in any, any kind of oxidative stress, that pathway codes the gene to build proteins called glutathione, superoxide dismutase, and catalase, the three primary major intracellular antioxidants so that they can come back into the cell and rebalance the teeter-totter. When the teeter-totter balance is balanced, then the cell can be healthy. And so the, this, whole, this whole concept, the reason why ASEA is positioned so well is that it is the only company in the world that owns all the patents and all the ability to make these same signaling molecules in a laboratory 
stabilize them. We drink them or put them on our skin, they're absorbed, and I can replenish or fill up the cell of the deficit that we're not making because we're getting older or we're sicker. And when we do that, then the body, the cell can heal itself naturally. That's what's important about this. Leah, that was beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Feeling awesome. good. Yeah.